So today is August 1st, and we've just come out of a pretty severe heat wave. Um, got beautiful weather yesterday and today, and I'm making a follow-up video I'm on the, to the video I made about uh, the cornfields and um, the proposition to evolve towards a system of using parts of the land for uh, ecosystem services rather than using all of the land for um, cornfields and pastures and low cut low mode fields so I'm on the same road I'm headed in the opposite direction as that day um, the reason I'm making a follow-up video is that just last night found a very good resource, a website called Beef, Corn, and Cows, or something like that, and it was a farmer explaining why the current day farmers let the corn die in the field, and he was explaining in that website that it's not just that it's dying, it's being allowed to dry in the field. I still stand by... Um, everything I said in the previous video I have seen corn being plowed into the field plowed back under I've seen that happen and just today <clears throat> on my way back I've seen the big combines and the uh, finishing of the harvesting of that dried corn so Pretty soon here, we're gonna drive right by some cornfields. And uh, pretty soon here, we're gonna get right to the cornfield that I started the video, the previous video in. And we'll see if that cornfield is um, harvested or if it's not harvested. And okay, all here is cornfield that has been harvested and it's just beat down to nothing just dry I mean when the wind comes it just blows bits of corn husk and it blows the dust everywhere because there's nothing uh, covering the land now so we're almost there here's the, the harvested cornfields And uh, as the man was explaining, uh, there's a, there's a giant disker. Here's the cornfield that I made the video in, and it has been harvested. So I think this is sweet potato. It is totally dried out. If that ground is dried and fried, those, those plants look like they are gonna expire. Um, I can see them better than you can in the video. I mean, I, I see them, they're totally dried out. The ground in between the plants is, is uh, completely desiccated. But, okay, now here's a cornfield. So I'm gonna pull over. We're gonna see what's inside this dried corn that according to the beef and corn and farmer website which I am going to post a link to at the bottom of this um, we're going to see what's inside these these corn husks so here it is this is probably a couple thousand acres all planted in corn here in North Texas and uh, that field over there, I don't know if you can see it, but that field over there's already been harvested. This field has not. Now, just when I was driving over here, I saw what happens when they harvest it. Huge dust clouds, and here's what's gonna come out of this. Let's see. There it is. Okay, well. You know what? That's production. That is definitely production. So the farmers leave this 
to dry in the field and it'll become uh, pig feed, cow feed, and even uh, pet food and maybe used for some biofuel as well but that's it. Um, is there a better use for the land? I don't know. I just know that uh, humankind has been altering the land for thousands of years and in the last 100 years we've gotten incredible uh, powers and machines to, to do it at this exponential scale so I don't know what the right thing to do is have a great day